The bird's nest, so highly sought after, treasured by so many outdoorsmen. We love you. So this bird's nest, like many other that we use here in bushcraft and survival, is made from inner bark of trees, maybe some dried plant material or something like that. But a question I get asked all the time at classes is can we use a real bird's nest? Now my answer typically when asked that question is no, just avoid bird's nests altogether. Not that there may not be dried material inside the bird's nests, but we're going to take a close look now and I'm going to show you why. So here we have two different bird's nests that I collected just today. I knew where they were at, vacant. This one was actually laying on the ground. Let's look at this one first. So if we look at this one, it looks okay. I mean, there's all this dried grass and hay and stuff mixed in here, which if you would get enough of this, it would work. But if you really look closely, it is full of mud. Look at how much mud's in this thing. So when I break this apart, there is just clumps and clumps of dirt in here. And this is gonna hinder any small embers that you may have or anything like that. This second bird's nest, on the other hand, has a little less mud in it, but it has a lot of moss mixed in. And this moss, of course, is still green. There's still some moisture in there. So although this bird's nest looks nice and dry and feels somewhat dry, there's still mud, there's still some green moss in here, there's some hay from the local fields, so that is going to hold a lot of moisture. So again, no go overall. But if all else fails, there is something that you can do to get this to work, and that is process that down, the same as we process bark. We need to remove all the dirt, we need to remove all the green material, and whatever is left, may be viable. Now you're gonna to have to make that decision on your own. I can say across the board that it's going to work, but you can give it a shot if all else fails. So it's always important to educate yourself in what is in the environment around you in case you can't find some good inner bark or some dried grasses. So what I would personally do with these bird's nests if I can find them is pull them apart, not breathe in all this craziness that's coming out of them. Again, you can see how much dirt's coming out of this thing. So when we knock all this dirt away, I mean, look at what I'm actually being left with. Not much of anything, okay? So there's a lot we can probably collect out here if it was really happening, but we're gonna knock that off to the side, grab some of this, and see if we can get this to blow to flame. So we're gonna ignite some char material here. And we're gonna utilize the little bit of bird's material that we do have. So there you have it. Does an actual bird's nest replace the bird's nest that we collect from inner bark? Yes, but there requires some knowledge and processing around it. It's not as good, it burns out a lot quicker. And if you only have one bird's nest, it would be very small after you do process it down and get all that mud and other stuff away. Now, one word of caution that I would like to say is that I have read in the past that their birds, because of the dander and stuff in them, can cause infections if you breathe all that stuff in that's processing down. So you need to be super careful. Again, another reason just to stay away from it. So I always tell individuals, and I'm gonna stick to it, that if it comes down to that if you really, really need that and it was a true emergency situation, now you know how to process it. But to go out when you have to collect material, there's way more viable options than actual bird's nests themselves. So overall, I would say stay away from the bird's nest unless it's a dire emergency. Pick your inner bark, pick your dry grasses and flower tops, and you're gonna be golden. This was Dan Wall, Cold Cracker Bushcraft. As always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. Until next video, stay in the woods.